Well, it was a beautiful fall day and I was out flying my Typhoon H. I'm over here just below these trees. My Typhoon had the latest firmware update. I took off from this location expecting a routine flight, but the flight was anything but routine. Looking at the flight data, you can see some pretty interesting things. This is the Typhoon H right here. This is the flight mode and it's showing ready. This is the orientation of the Typhoon H and it matches the orientation of the arrow. This is the left flight stick and this is the right flight stick on the ST-16. So as you can see, the Typhoon H is in ready mode, meaning it's ready to fly. Everything goes wrong as soon as it leaves the ground. Watch what happens to the orientation when I start the motors. And the orientation changes again upon takeoff. You can see here I'm applying full throttle upon takeoff. In this early stage of flight, you can see that the Typhoon H thinks it's pointing north, but in reality it was actually pointing east. So joystick input is kind of strange at this point. Now watch what happens when I put it into return to home mode. The Typhoon H appears in a totally different location. To make matters worse, the Typhoon H is now flying erratic all throughout the sky with no control. And if you take a look at the joysticks, the left joystick will only move the Typhoon up or down and the right joystick has no effect at all. It shows it's not even being used, but trust me, I was moving that right joystick all over the place trying to regain control. Notice that when I switch it into home mode, the Typhoon H suddenly appears in a new location. The left and right joysticks begin to work for about a second, but the Typhoon H continues to be unresponsive. It's apparent the Typhoon H was not receiving all the commands because I was switching the Typhoon H in between home and angle mode quite often. Suddenly the Typhoon H begins to fly almost normal. It slows down and becomes a little bit more stable. It's still drifting, but I'm starting to get control. However, if you take a look at the right joystick, it's still not receiving any input. I can only move it up and down. So the Typhoon H is still flying on its own. Suddenly, the Typhoon H starts to fly towards me as if Return to Home is finally starting to work. This is a good thing, but unfortunately it's about to land on some power lines. So I flick it into angle mode and hope that I can regain control. And as you can see by the joysticks, control is being returned to the ST-16. I'm now starting to control it. So now I have to maneuver it down so it doesn't hit the power lines and also doesn't hit all those cars that are driving on the road. So for this time, my Typhoon H flyaway story actually has a nice happy ending. I was able to regain control of the Typhoon H and land it safely. What went wrong? I have no idea. Was it the compass? Was it the GPS? Was it the ST-16? No idea. The Typhoon H flew three successful flights just prior to this one. This was the fourth battery being used and everything was wrong from the get-go. There's obviously a glitch and hopefully Unique can fix this in some future firmware update. If this happens to you, don't panic. Try putting in a return to home. Try to regain control. Put it back into angle mode, return to home, take it out of GPS mode, whatever you need to do to stop it from flying away.